good morning, church. Come on, in the presence of the Lord, there's a fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We welcome you in this room. Can you clap those hands with us? Come on, clap, clap, clap. Let's do it together. Sing, come a little close. Come a little close. Yeah. Sing, come a little close. Just spend a little time. 
Somebody give him the glory. I see hands lifted. Somebody just said hallelujah. Somebody just gave God the glory. Come on, give him the glory. Come on, give him the Come on, give him the glory. We don't have time to run down the line of everything God is doing. But if you're grateful like me, everybody in this house ought to lift up a shout. On the count of three, can everybody lift up a shout in here? One, two, three, go! Shout out to God! Shout out to God! Because he always causes us to try. Shout out to God! Shout out to God! How did you make it through? It wasn't by power. And it wasn't by might. But it was by the Holy Open up your mouth, somebody. about 10 seconds to think who is like our God nobody's greater nobody's stronger can you shout hallelujah nobody like our God nobody like our God he's a beautiful savior. he's a beautiful head he's a beautiful savior nobody like our God nobody like our God come on can you slip those hands up all over this room just say hallelujah. Come on, can you lift him? Can you, can you exalt him? He said, if I be lifted up on the earth, I'll draw all men into me. Come on. Can we just take some time just to lift his name up? Come on, lift his name up. Be exalted, be exalted. Be lifted high, be lifted. Be exalted, be lifted. King of heaven. <laughs> be exalted, be exalted. Come on, can you just say be exalted? Come on, say be exalted. Be lifted high. We worship in angels. As it is in heaven, we'll repeat the sound, and we'll never get tired, it'll never grow up, and we'll join in. Oh, oh, oh. 
affections are set on sing this out. You're Jehovah. Whatever we need you to be. You're whatever we need you to be. You're whatever we want you to be. You're Jehovah. Just hands raised and voices. Say, be exalted. Be lifted high. Hey, hey. He's the king of heaven. Be glorified. Come on, shout. All creation. will testify. Can we raise it one more time? I feel something rising. Come on, close your eyes, open up your mouth, sing it to him. Be exalted. Come on, feels like heaven. King of. Be glorified. Oh. Come on, sing this. Oh, create. Say all creation. All creation. That means you, that means you will testify. Testify. All creation. All creation. Hey,
real simple. Can you sing it with us? Say, you are the most high. You are the most high, God. That's how it is. Come on, say, you are, you are the most high. Everybody in this room to sing that loud. You are the most. No music, just you sing it. Say, Jehovah. Say, you are the most hung on. Say, Jehovah. Say, you are the most hung on. Come on, lift those hands. Say, Jehovah. Lift your hands and say. Listen, can you just lift your hands and lift your voice and just give God your own worship just for about 30 seconds? Come on. We worship collectively, and I give them your own worship. Come on. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Be lifted. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. a certain level of intentionality when you lift something. Yep. Nobody goes to lift by accident. There is a level of intentionality. And I know you have issues going on in your life. I know that you don't have enough funds to, to make ends meet. But Jesus said, if I be lifted, yeah, 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 yeah. meaning if you make a conscious, intentional decision to lift up, we're not trying, we're not trying to negate life is happening to everybody in this room. Life is full of sorrow and trouble. But God is saying if you make a decision 
to climb over your issues and to climb over your diagnoses and climb over everything and lift me. Now, I want everybody in the room to make a conscious decision to say, God, in spite of what's going on in my life right now, I make a decision in your sanctuary to lift you. Somebody lift your hands. Somebody lift your voice. I know what's going on. I know it's hurtful. I know what's going on in your life. I know there is enemies surrounding you. But if you make a decision to lift him higher than your circumstance, higher than what the doctor is saying, come on, somebody lift him in this room. Lift him, lift him, and God, I make a decision. It doesn't mean it's not predicated on everything being right. It's not predicated on me feeling good. This is not based on my feelings. This is based on the fact that you have never left me. You have never forsaken me. You've never lost a battle. You've never lost a case. And for that reason, God, I lift you. For that reason, I insult you. For that reason, I glorify you. Somebody in this room, glorify you. Come on, that's not good enough. Come on, come on, open your mouth and glorify him. Say, God, I glorify you. I don't understand everything that's going on, but the one thing I can do is give you glory. The one thing I can do is give you honor. The one thing I can do is exalt your name. Somebody glorify him in the church. Come on, come on. Glorify him. Open your mouth and give him glory. This is an in spite of praise. This is an in spite of praise. In spite of what's going on, in spite of what the enemies are plotting, I will glorify you. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually. That is without ceasing. That is without failure. I will bless your times in the good times. I'll bless you in the bad times. I'll bless you when I'm up. And I'll bless you when I'm down. Somebody glorify you. Come on, if that was for me, that'd be all right. If that was for me, that'd be okay. I'd be blessed if that was for me. But we're talking about the one that said, let that be. And that was. We're talking about the one that said, that we're supposed to put your next heartbeat. Give him glory in the room. Can somebody clap up for the things that he's done? Can somebody clap your hand for the things that he's done? Now a little bit louder for the things that he's doing. That's a little better. Now I want you to lift your hand, your loudest voice for the things he's about to do. Come on. That's it. That's it. For the doors you're about to open. For the ways you're about to make. God, I thank you for what you're yet doing. Lord, I thank you for what you're yet doing. Lord, I thank you behind the scene making things happen for me. Yes, God. For what you're about to do. Tell somebody beside me, I'm praying for what he's about to do. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting my popcorn ready because God's about to do something. God's about to set down one and put up up another. Somebody give him glory in this room. Tell somebody I'm praying for what he's about to do. I'm praying for what he's in the midst of. I don't know what it is, but there is something God is up to. There is something good coming my way. Somebody, come on. David encouraged himself. Say, self, encourage yourself. Praise ye the Lord. I command myself to bless the Lord. I command myself to praise him. Oh. Yes, Lord. Let's pray, Lord, to the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for life, for health, and strength. God, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Now, God, we have gathered today to hear what you have to say. God, we thank you that your presence is already in the room. We don't have to ask for you to be here because you're already here. Lord, so, Lord, since you're here, you might as well heal somebody. Lord, since you're here, you might as well deliver somebody. Lord, since you're here, you might as well make a way out of no way. Lord, since you're here, since you're here, let us not waste your time here, God. Lord, change us for time and eternity. Don't let us leave the same way that we came in the door. God, somebody is in need of you. Lord, so we stretch our hands up and say, Father, we stretch our hands to you. 
no other help that we know. God, do your good work in your people's lives. Lord, heal, set free, and deliver your people. Lord, fix things that are, at hand, are going on at home, God. Fix things that are going on in the town, God. And we'll be careful to give your name glory. We'll be careful to give your name praise. And we'll be careful to give your name honor in advance of what you're about to do. And so we clap our hands right now, God. And we applaud in what you're about to do. We applaud in the ways you're about to make. We applaud the doors you're about to open. We applaud the lion's mouth that you're about to shut. God, we thank you. Lord, that with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Lord, we believe you for the impossible. Lord, we release you into our lives and into our families and into our careers. Lord, we glorify you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and believe this prayer. Somebody say amen. Amen. And amen. Clap your hands and tell somebody it is so. It is so. It don't look like it, but it is so. Tell somebody it is so. That's what amen means. It is so. Come on, tell somebody it don't look like it, but it is so. It is so. Hallelujah. You may be seated if you can and turn your attention. From the earth I'll draw all men unto me. Lift him up, lift him up, till he speaks from eternity. He said, if I, if I be lifted up, from the earth I'll draw all men unto me. Come on, lift them, lift them, lift them up. October 29th on a Saturday from 12 to 3. You don't want to miss it. It's for the whole community. We're going to have carnival games. We're going to have a ton of candy. We're going to have all kinds of inflatables, face painting, balloon artists. We're just going to have people on stilts. It's just going to be amazing. You don't want to miss it. It's for everyone. So don't forget, bring your friends and your families and just invite somebody to come. You don't want to miss it. The greatest show on earth, Harvest Fest, is coming. So don't forget, October 29th, 12 to 3 on a Saturday right here at World Overcomers. We're going to see you there. Hey family, it's not too late. You can still sign up for the best summer ever. It's the best summer camp ever. Every week you can sign up for a brand new theme, brand new field trip. It's only $175 per week you won't want to ever leave. Remember, if you want to register your child or sign up to be a camp counselor, just go to overcomerkids.com. We hope that you get there. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hey Amen. Can you put your hands together for what God is doing here at World Overcomers? Listen, do we have any first-time visitors here at the World Overcomers? Can we recognize you by just lifting up your hand if you would, if you raise your hand? Amen. Come on, somebody from World Overcomer. Come on, somebody make them feel welcome. God bless you. Thank you for coming. We are honored that you would spend time with us. We realize that gas is still expensive even though it's going down. So the fact that you would invest your time and your energy to come and worship with us, we are happy about that today. Listen, I want to draw attention on something that, that happened yesterday. It was so phenomenal. And you all have been taking part over the last month. And it is the, our, our school drive. Can you put your hands together, amen, for the vision? I want to dispel a misconception about World Overcomers that we're just this big church sitting on a hill. We are a generous church. We are a generous church. And so you should be prosperous when God knows that he can flow through you, amen? But on yesterday, and I want to give honor to Steve Kennedy. Come on, wave your hand, Steve. We want to honor him. He had a vision. And he came to us and said, hey, I did something a couple years ago, and I want to do this Stuff the Bus campaign, where he simply partnered with some people that he knew. They, they put a bus in front of Walmart at Briar Creek. And y'all, can I tell you, God blessed phenomenally yesterday. Over 400 people gave, filled the bus up, 
And, and the, those that didn't have not did, that didn't have time to give, they gave over seven hundred dollars, so we can then go buy supplies. And so it took us over forty-five minutes to empty out the bus to put over in one life. And y'all, the stage and all the seats are full to the brim. So can we put our hands together for generosity? Come on, come on, come on, let's clap, y'all. I know we're li we live in a selfish society and people don't want to give up, but can we put our hands together for the ability to give? God has blessed us to be a blessing. So we thank God for the vision of Pastor Andy that allows us the creativity to do things like this to be a blessing to the area. Tell somebody, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. The other, other plug I want to put in is we are highlighting several things in the lobby every week. And this week, we're highlighting volunteerism. Somebody say volunteer. Do you know, oh, yesterday we had over 60 people that volunteered. Can you put your hand together for that? So I see Sister Joy right there. I mean, people stood out in the August heat and were handing out things and saying, hey, would you give this? Would you? That would have been impossible without volunteers who were there. For all I know, me and Steve were the only, only staff, only paid staff there. The rest of that was run, to my knowledge, by all volunteers. And so we want you to be a part of serving and giving, not only people, but we're serving the kingdom of God. So in the lobby today, Kiosha Street is going to be at a table, and, sh and we want you to sign up for volunteer orientation. If you say, well, I don't, want, I don't really know where I want to serve, but I know that I do want to serve, just come to the orientation, and you can find your place to fit in, okay? This is not, it, pe people always think the most important stuff goes on the stage, but let me tell you, if people don't do the things that you don't see, the things, on this, the, the, the things that are done on the stage are insignificant. Okay, so when you serve, when you open the door, when you clean something or wh whatever you do, when, when somebody is saved, set free, delivered and healed, God, God credits that to your account. So we want you to serve. Amen. And in, uh, in addition to that, that generosity of giving, not only of your time, but right now we're going to pivot and we're going to concentrate on giving of our substance. Can you put your hands together for an opportunity to give? Come on, clap real loud. Come on. God blesses a cheerful giver, not a, not a stingy, not a begrudging giver. Listen, God is doing phenomenal things through World Overcomers Christian Church, and it's only because of your faithful giving. One thing, I, I teach new members class, and, and, and I warn people, hey, you're getting into a large church, and people think that it's insignificant, and what, what, if I don't show, if I don't give, it won't matter. No, the church is only going to be as strong as your commitment to give to serve. Amen? So we want you right now to get your best gift. If you are a tither, if you're a covenant-keeping tither, we want you to continue to honor that covenant with God. But if you just want to sow uh, a seed or give to Victory Park, we want to challenge you to do that today, knowing that when it leaves your hand, it leaves your physical account, but it does not leave your life. It is seeds that, that goes into your future. So if you need an envelope, if you would, raise your hand, and one of our gatekeepers will get to you. Amen. We're, we're ready for the, anybody ready for the word of God? Amen. Have y'all enjoyed the Sunday school series this summer? Amen. It has been a blessing to our life. Just to go back to the basics and for, and for Pastor Andy to show us new, new truths and old stories that we're so familiar with. All right, if you're ready to give, come on and lift that offering to the Lord, whether it's digitally or it's physical giving. We want you to lift it to the Lord. Come on, let's pray. God, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity and the privilege to give. Lord, because the fact that we have to give, meaning that you have blessed us with resources. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that as we sow into your kingdom, Lord, we're sowing unto you. Lord, knowing, God, that you will never forget the vows and the seeds that we sow. Lord, we, Lord, not only are we going to sow the seed, but, Lord, we promise when we walk away from the seed, God, we're going to cultivate the seed. We're going to water the seed. And, God, we will, we will apply our faith with expectation that it's going to produce a wonderful harvest in our lives. God, we thank you, Lord. We may not get it in return monetarily, God, but we thank you, Lord, that as we release the seed, that you're releasing peace for someone. You're releasing direction for someone. You're releasing connections that they need to get to the next level as a result of us being obedient to your word. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless you. And we trust you with our substance. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you as you give. When we praise Jesus, come on, can you clap those hands if you believe that?
Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? I asked the question, anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? 
Anybody on their way to heaven and they're glad about it? I said, anybody on your way to heaven and you're glad about it? You live in North Carolina, everybody in the room. As hot as it is in North Carolina, you should not want to go to hell. Hallelujah. I'm on my way to heaven and I'm glad about it. And if you're in the room, welcome, welcome, welcome to World Overcomers, to our 10 o'clock service, first Sunday in August. Hallelujah. 2022 is almost over. We are entering into the last quarter of this year. And we got to finish strong hallelujah and so welcome to the presence of the lord all of you that made your way in press to come to be in the room with us thank you for coming to worship him because there's something about praising the lord and something about the anointing that happens when we come together for everyone that's watching live stream around the world way more watching around the world that are in the room welcome if you're in the area maybe come to church as well but wherever you may be in Africa, in Australia, Nigeria, wherever you may be, Ghana, wherever you're watching, at whatever time you're watching, welcome to the presence of the Lord and welcome him into your place. We used to sing a song that like that that said, welcome into this place. Welcome into this broken vessel. I need a church somebody. You abide in the presence of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto his name. I trust you're offering up a praise. I trust you're not here to be entertained. I trust you know how to bless his name. I trust you understand that your mouth makes something happen. I trust that you are welcoming into this broken vessel. He decides to abide in the praises. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto his name. In the room we offer praise. In your room you offer praise. And then the presence of the Lord is in your place. And we're excited that you're with us this morning. And World Overcomers is a young church. If you're with us for the very first time, welcome. As you're leaving in that main lobby, there's a connection center. If you go there and tell them you're a first-time visitor, they'll give you a gift thanking you for coming. We used to make first-time visitors stand up back, back, back in the day. But but now we're just, and, we, and if you grew up in an old church, they make the first-time visitors say stuff. They run around with the microphone, Elder, and make you tell who you are, where are you from, and this is your cousin and your auntie. They're here for the cookout. But we don't do that no more because we don't know what you'll say. But we're just excited that you came to worship with us. If you're tuning in live around the world, write in the comments. You can just let us know and you can comment. Say, hey, I'm a first-time visitor. Someone will speak to you, reach out to you, and let you know we appreciate you being with us. We're a young church, and God has given us this vision, balanced victory for the God-designed life. And what that simply means is that we're asking for the intervention of God. I say this all the time. We're asking for the design of God, not just the power of God, but the plan of God, the architecture of God. We don't want God just to be the builder. We want him to be the architect. We want him to be the designer. We're saying, order our steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead us and guide us every day. Send your anointing. We, we want our steps to be ordered. And we want God to be pleased in the decisions that we make outside of church. Not just what we do in this 90 minutes, hour and a half, hour and 45, two hour time. Praise God for this but that the rest of our lives will count for God. And, uh, and we want God to be pleased in our life. I've been saying it for 20 years, that church is simply the hallway to kingdom, and the kingdom is what happens when you leave here on Monday and Tuesday. And so we're glad that you're with us. In the room, welcome. Around the world, welcome. We trust you since the presence of God. I trust you're ready to hear a word from the Lord. I do have a word for you. We got some special guests with us this morning. I heard that the whole Central Football team is with us this morning. Can y'all gentlemen stand up? Can the football team just stand up from Central? Can y'all praise God for the football team from Central? No, can y'all praise God for these gentlemen came here to go to church? Praying for y'all. Praying for y'all. Praise God. Y'all may be seated. 
Praise God for them and faithful young men going to school. Hallelujah. Playing, playing that sport. Coach, appreciate Trey Oliver. Thanks for bringing everybody to church and making everybody come because I know they didn't necessarily want to come, but you made them come, and I appreciate it, Coach. I do. Thanks for making them come to church today and welcome, and we're just praying God's blessing on you and praying that y'all will be safe and nobody will be hurt and everybody's knees will be right and God will keep linebackers off your knees and linebackers hit people hard and that y'all will knock people out in the name of Jesus. We're believing God for that and that as a result of y'all knocking God out, people out in Jesus' name that y'all will have a winning season and y'all will mount up on wings like eagles. That we will... They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, that y'all will mount up on wings like eagles, that y'all will run and not be weary and score touchdowns, that y'all will walk and not faint. And uh, excited that y'all are here with us to worship with us. And then uh, our guest worship leader was Yoli. That was Yoli, right, this morning, and uh, came and led us in the throne room, to the throne room. And I don't know if she's around. Can y'all praise God for her and all the worship team and all of the... Her name is Yolanda, right? Yolanda is her real name. Call her. I heard her sing at a funeral in which she sang, uh, I shall wear a crown. And I, it made me get saved. And so when the senior pastor gets saved, it's powerful. And uh, so we invited her to come and lead us in worship, and that was great. And, uh, and then all of you that came to worship with us and people around the world, praise God. Let's look at the Word of God together really quickly. How many have a, an iPad or device or some, throw, uh, something in your hand, throw something above your head, wave something at me really quickly? And uh, as a, there's a serious, no joke, preacher pastor in the house that's all the way back there in the corner. And he's here from L.A., has one of the biggest churches in, in the Los Angeles. His name is Jeremy Dixon. He's here. And uh, Jeremy, just wave at the people. He's back there with his brim on. And uh, his son is... Going to Central, hallelujah. And, uh, and so uh, we're praying for all of them and everybody at Central in Jesus' name. 